How's it going guys? Got a couple of fun battles for you today using the Kalostar Delphox. We're running a pretty nifty secret magician set with Power Herb Solar Beam. So let's see what it can do. Today's first battle with Delphox is against Gazero. So as always, good luck, have fun to Gazero, and let's jump into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Gazero. So they're going to lead off with Weirdeer. Nice and shiny as I lead off with my Cyclazar. So not a bad matchup for us, to be fair. Um, we can just go for a knockoff or a U-turn here. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pretty free with a knockoff. Um, I figured they'd probably lead with this thing for screens. Or they might lead with the Talonflame slash Empoleon to do some damage to either uh, Ninetales, Alolan, or Arachnid. So I'm going to go for a knockoff anyway. May as well get rid of that likely if they are likely. It does a lot of damage, which is great. That's what we like to see. And they have the ability shield, which is interesting. As they go for a size shield bash, which does a lot of damage and raises their defense. However, I believe that U-turn will still KO here. I believe our knockoff will still KO here, actually. So I'm going to go for another knockoff because they might just switch out. Um, they could punish us by going to Talonflame, getting that flame body potentially. They do withdraw Weird Ear. Um, wanting to preserve it for later, that makes sense. And they're going to go into the Empoleon. So we get a nice, clean knockoff on Empoleon, which is great. Uh, so knockoff comes through. There's a nice little bit of chip to the uh, Empoleon, knocking off their Assault Vest, which is good to know. So we know they're going to have all our offensive moves. Um, let's go for... So if I U-turn, I can go into a Raquinid, right? So let's go U-turn and a Raquinid. They go for a Vacuum Wave. Ooh, I forgot that it got that. That's cool. So Empoleon does take down Cyclizar. So if they manage to get Hazards... No. The, the only thing they have Hazards on is this. And it was a Soul Vest, so they won't have Hazards. So I don't have to worry about it too much. So anyway, looking at their team... I'd say Gliscor does really well here. This particular Gliscor is a Swords Dance set. Obviously with Scale Shot, as you can see. Um, Gliscor could threaten this thing out with an Earthquake right now. I am going to go for the Gliscor switch. And just for the sake of not being weak to that Glaceon. Oh no, they have, if they, Glaceon gets freeze-dried on it, so Terra Water won't help really. It'll help against this thing though. So we could immediately go for the Swords Dance Scale Shot uh, set right now. And there's not a lot that can take care of that, which would be amazing. The Talon Flame might be a problem if it gets the Flame Body on us. Um, but I think I will Terra Water Swords Dance right here. So there we go. We're going to Terrestrialize into a Water type. This seems like the best course of action against the Empoleon anyway. I'm not confident that Earthquake would KO and they could also Terra. Got to keep Terra in mind. So if they wanted to Terra flying the Empoleon, for example, which they haven't, we go for a Swords Dance and we're pretty golden right now with Gliscor. Gliscor looks really nice. So they go for an Icy Wind. So that's actually going to help them because it means the Glaceon will now outspeed and be able to go for the Freeze Dry. So even though we get a nice Earthquake off here on something, we're still in a bit of a predicament because that Glaceon can come in and outspeed us with Freeze Dry. So they're actually going to Terrastalize now. What type are they going to Terrastalize into though? If it's something like Flying, which it could be, you know, it's Water. So it might live the Earthquake at this point. If it does, that's actually not a bad thing because it means we can Scale Shot it now. So we go for an Earthquake and that is going to cleanly take out the Empoleon. So no Scale Shot, which is unfortunate because it would have built our speed back up. Well, the Empoleon does go down, and unfortunately, their Terra Water was not able to stop the Earthquake from KOing, so that's great. Glaceon comes in, which is great. It outspeeds us, so we have to be careful. So as much as I want Gliscor to just stay in and go for a Scale Shot here or something, uh, we're going to have to switch out. And I think our best bet is going to be the Delphox, so I'm going to go into Delphox now. I do kind of want to go and get Ninetales in, but I don't want to boost this thing's defense. That's the problem. So we go Delphox. They go for a Freeze Dry, which would have probably taken out Gliscor because he's not a bulky Gliscor at all. Uh, no Freeze, which is nice. And then I'm looking at that team and I'm thinking Nasty Plot does pretty well. Nasty Plot does pretty well. I'm going to go for a Nasty Plot. Screw it. They withdraw the Glaceon. What are they going to go into to take a Flame for? Probably if it's Thick Fat, the Hairy Armor or the Talonflame, which it looks like it's a Talonflame. So the Talonflame comes in. We go for a Nasty Plot. We're plotting up here. And now we can go straight for a Psychic, which would be cool. Um, so let's go for the Psychic right now. They go for a Tailwind, allowing the rest of their team to outspeed us, which is a good play, I'd say. Psychic comes through. This should take out the Talonflame, I believe, unless they're really specially defensive, which looks like they're not. 
So Talonflame goes down, which is great. But they did get a Tailwind up, so that Dragonite outspeeds us with the Earthquake. The Hairy Armor can knock us off. You name it, they can do it. Hairy Armor comes in. Now, Hairy Armor is ooh, nice and shiny. I like shiny Hairy Armor. It's pretty cool. Is it Hairy Armor or is it Harry Armor? I don't know. Harry Armor. Harry Armor. I don't know. I don't think we outspeed if they're max speed. But who's running max speed Harry Armor? I think we still outspeed. Yeah, we still outspeed, which is great. So Delphox comes through with another Psychic, clean Psychic, which takes out the Harry Armor. As Harry Armor goes down, which is fantastic. Now, I would go into Dragonite personally. I think Dragonite can outspeed with the Tailwind. Um, they go into Weird Ear, though, which, if it's max speed, will outspeed us. But you know what? I'm going to go for a Flamethrower anyway. Um, they go for a Throat Drop. They do outspeed us, and that is not going to KO Delphox. Nice! As we get a Flamethrower off and KO that Weird Ear. And now I believe... Um, Dragonite's Extreme Speed can take us out, which is cool. But Delphox putting in the work real quick. So D Dragonite comes in. Dragonite comes in. Um, we're going to get Extreme Speeded. Is it best to go into Gengar? I think we go Gengar here. We can still preserve Delphox and fodder it later if we want to. That was good gameplay of Delphox though. That was, that was you know, real Delphox gaming right there. Um, they go for the E-Speed. Obviously, it's not going to work on Gengar. They kind of had to go for it there. The Tailwind does pet her out as well. Or Peter out, sorry. Um, do I want this to be weakness policy or not? Uh, I say... I, I think Sludge Bomb's the better option because it won't activate the weakness policy, but it will break that multi-scale, which is kind of what we're going for here. So, they Dragon Dance. Ooh, that's scary. I should have tricked. I didn't think the Dragon Dance in the face of a Gengar. But uh, let's go for a Sludge Bomb. We do outspeed still because of the Choice Scarf. So Sludge Bomb comes through. Good amount of damage. They go for an Outrage. That's going to definitely do a lot of damage. It's going to go Gengar. Oh, but we get the Cursed Body on the Outrage. Which is amazing. And they're locked into that. So they're going to try and go for it again. It's not going to work. We're going to bring in uh, Gliscor and we're going to Scale Shot this thing. So Gliscor and Delphox both putting in the work this game. Gotta love it. So um, let's go for that scale shot real quick. Uh, the outrage is disabled, so they are going to fail. We go for the scale shot, and the Dragonite is toast. Because we actually hit the scale shot, which is nice. So uh, it's going to lower our defenses, but boost our speed, which is nice. Um, I'm not confident that Glaceon is going to go down to a Crab Hammer. I am not confident at all. Because it has got decent physical defense, if I remember correctly. There's the Glaceon coming in. So full HP, so it can probably take this Crab Hammer that's coming out their way. Uh, I think Crab Hammer is the best move to go. Well, Earthquake or Crab Hammer either way. I kind of want to go for the Crab Hammer for the theme. Just for the meme. Let's go for the Crab Hammer. Screw it. Uh, Crab Hammer comes through and watch what we missed. We missed. Of course we missed. I should have gone for Earthquake. Anyway, Freeze Dry comes through. That's going to take out Gly uh, Glygar. Glyscar. Um, that's fine. Glyscar going down is fine by me because... Delphox is cleaning up the game anyway. Definitely cleaning up the game with Delphox here. So we'll go Delphox. And if Delphox fails to KO with Flamethrower here, then it's whatever. We're just going to Ninetales and Moonblast this thing. But Flamethrower is going to come through right now. It's going to KO the Gla Glaceon. You watch. As down it goes. And that's going to be the game. So Delphox really popped off in that game. What a decent Pokemon. <laughs> GG Gazira. That was a fun one. I like that one. That was a fun one for sure. Delphox and Gliscor both kind of popped off in their own little way. The next battle is against Jay. They also have a channel, so be sure to go check them out. And with that being said, good luck, have fun, Jay. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Jay. So they're going to lead off with Gudra, which is a good lead, because I led off with my Delphox. Now, Delphox does really well against their team, except from this thing and to an extent the Meowstic. Um, so the, it's a very small Hisuian Gudra as well, I will say. Um, we're going to have to switch out here because this thing is going to hurt us with either, I don't know, a knockoff or something along those lines. Um, I don't think they go for a flash cannon, so we could go Ninetales and get our Aurora Veil up. Or we can get our Sticky Webs up. Uh, Sticky Webs don't benefit us too much against the team. Um, in all seriousness, we could. I think we're probably better off going into a Raquinid though. Uh, so I am going to go into a Raquinid. So Delphox, come on back. It's time for a, a Raquinid to come in and deal with this Hisuian Gudra somehow. 
Uh, what I'm hoping for is that they are especially offensive one, and that they go for something else. So they go for a Surf, which is cool. Breaks our Sash. Um, I don't see any problem going for a Sticky Web, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for the Sticky Web. They withdraw the Gudra. They obviously don't realize that they're not doing much damage to our Araquanid. And they're going to go into the Ninetales, which is a good switch. Because it can go for a Freeze Drive if it wants to. We can also sell the Aurora Veil, which is going to be nice. Um, we get the Sticky Webs up, though. That's going to benefit us. The Meow Sticks kind of fast, and so is the Alela Ninetales. And the Dratchy, if it's Scarfed, then that's obviously not such a problem anymore. Um, if we assume they're going to go for a Aurora Veil, let's just go into Gengar. I think Gengar's a good switch. It's still going to hit pretty hard, and it baits in one of their Steel types, so we can make a double into Delphox. So we withdraw a Raquinid. And we're going to go into Gengar. Gengar can also trick things, so that's going to be useful. So bring Gengar in. They do go for a freeze drive. They just went straight for the kill on the Araquanid, which is fair enough. And they get the freeze, which is really unfortunate. So <laughs> Gengar being frozen is kind of cringe. But you know what? It's fine. May as well try and un but unfortunately we do stay frozen solid. As uh, they're able to go for a blizzard now, which will take us out. So that's unfortunate. Gengar does go down. We do get the cursed body on the blizzard, which is nice. Um, very nice. Gengar going down is, like I said, kind of cringe, but at the same time, it's not the end of the world because now we can go into Delphox. And Delphox is a good one because Flamethrower will take out this Alola Ninetales unless they set up Aurora Veil. And if they do set up the Aurora Veil, we could just nasty plot. Oh, we could just nasty plot right here in their face. Let's nasty play in their face. They withdraw the Ninetales. They don't want to get hit by a Fire Blast or an Overheat or a Flamethrower. And they're going to go into Gudra. Gudra is a fine switch because it can go for a Surf. It can take any hit, really. Um, it does get caught in the sticky webs, making it slower than it already was. And uh, we get up a nice nasty plot, which is pretty awesome. So with nasty plot up, I, I kind of, I, I know I can live a surf. But with Delphox being so important, do I want to? Uh, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for the flamethrower and see how much damage it does. I'm just curious at this point. So flamethrower comes through. It's going to do some nice chip damage to the Gudra. Actually does over half. They go for a flash cannon predicting the switch. Oh dear, that's unfortunate. So they really thought I would switch there, but no, 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 no. Delphox is here to claim some souls right now. It outspeeds everything on the team. It can KO everything on the team. We're in a good position. Flamethrower comes through. That's going to take out the Gudra, no problem. Ah, oh, we're looking really good with this uh, Gudra real quick. So, what do we do now? So, it, they probably want to bring in the Meowstic, if I had to guess. Great Tusk comes in. That's a good switch. So... We can probably expect a Terra Water here to take a Flamethrower or a Psychic. If they're a Salt Vest, they probably will take it. So let's go for a Solar Beam. So we go for a Solar Beam. They didn't Terra, so we didn't even need Solar Beam. We could have Psychic there, but you know what? It's fine. Because now we're going to get that Power Herb Solar Beam going off, just for the meme. And that's going to destroy the Great Tusk's life. There we go. So Great Tusk goes down. Even if it was a Salt Vest, you know, it would go down to that, I think. Um, so let's see, does the Magician work? Yeah, Magician works. We take, they were a Salt Vest. So it's a good job we went for Solar Beam. I'm pretty sure Solar Beam does more damage to Great Tusk than a Stab Super Effective Psychic does. Jirachi comes through, which is cool. Uh, Jirachi is an interesting Pokemon. Um, I don't really see it very often. Gets caught in the Sticky Web, so I know we outspeed, even if they're Joy Scarfed. So I can just go for a Flamethrower, but will they Terra? That's the real question. If they did Terra, what would they go for? Um, do I Terra Fairy here? No, I don't Terra because they haven't really got anything to hit us super effectively. So let's go for a Flamethrower. Um, they do Terra. What type are they going to Terra into, though? That's the real question. They could turn this around with Jirachi here if this is the right Terra. Terra Normal. Interesting. So Terra Normal Jirachi with Body Slam? This could make or break the game. We go for a Flamethrower at plus two, though. And that Jirachi does live. They go for the Body Slam Booster by Terra. This could actually pull this back. That's exciting. Oh, it doesn't. But do they get the Paralysis? <gasps> Serene Grace Jirachi doesn't get a Paralysis on Body Slam. Are you kidding me right now? That's awesome. Let's go for a Psychic just to switch up moves a bit. Psychic comes through. Delphox is looking real nice right now. As Jirachi goes down. Delphox is definitely a sleeper Pokemon. It's like, you know. Well, I mean, Jirachi's a sleepy Pokemon. But this is a sleeper Pokemon. Meowstic comes in. Now, this thing, depending on the set... Oh, it's nice and shiny as well. I like shiny Meowstic. It's cool. Um, they get caught in the sticky webs, which is going to give them a competitive boof, right? No. So they're not competitive Meowstic. They're a different set. Let's go for a Flamethrower. Uh, it should KO unless they're like, special defensive. 
the not. Miasti goes down. And Delphox is plowing through this team right now, which is amazing. Ninetales comes in. I don't think Ninetales can do anything here. I still can't believe that Serene Grace Drachi didn't get paralysis with Body Slam. That's actually crazy. Actually crazy. So let's see what Delphox can do here. Let's go for a Flamethrower. Flamethrower comes through, and that's going to be the end of the Ninetales, I believe. Yep. So right now, it's looking like Corviknight's their last chance at winning this. Um, well, uh, not winning. Uh, I think we've won this one. But Corviknight could pull out something here. It's not affected by Sticky Webs, for example. It could be Choice Scarf, for all I know. I don't know. Let's go for a Flamethrower and find out. We go for the Flamethrower. They are not Choice Scarfed. Not that, not that Corviknight normally is. Um, but Corviknight goes down. That is going to be the game. So GGJ, that was a really good demonstration of why Delphox is pretty powerful right now. I mean, I, I love it. I love Delphox. He's such a cool Pokemon. Delphox just went to town in that one. And we even kind of pulled off the Magician Strat. But anyway, that's the lot. Be sure to subscribe if you're new and feel free to try the team out. And with that being said, I'll catch you all in a bit.